Watch as Representative Jim Jordan gave an epic three-minute speech calling out Democrats, including the dummy in the <laughs> previous video, for their radical attempts to subvert the Second Amendment. Jim Jordan blasts Democrats attacking the Second Amendment. Watch this. Now we know. Now we know where they want to go. We just said it. End the filibuster. Expand the court. Forget the Constitution. Now we know. Democrats blame guns. They criticize the NRA. They call Republicans names. But let's be honest. They've told us what they want to do. Their real beef is with the Second Amendment. Their real beef is with the Second Amendment. Think about what this bill does. Mr. Massey just outlined the six bills thrown into one. What this bill does, it tells law-abiding citizens when you can get a gun, what kind of gun you can get, what accessories you can get for your gun, and where and how you have to store it in your own darn home. That's what this bill does. This is an assault. This is the start. This is the start. We know it's the start because Ms. Jackson Lee, the first person to speak on their side, said this. We're not finished. This is just the beginning. Their goal, plain and simple, is to get rid of the Second Amendment. Joe Biden said it the other day. He said he wants to ban 9 millimeter handguns. Michael Moore said it last week. Time to repeal the Second Amendment, he said. We know where the Democrats want to go, and they don't care about the Constitution. Mr. Bishop pointed that out just a few minutes ago. They know the age limit in this bill is unconstitutional. We just had a decision last month from the most liberal circuit in the country said it's unconstitutional. They know the storage provisions are unconstitutional. The Heller decision said so. They don't care. Forget the Constitution. They want to they want to they want to change the country in so many dramatic ways. The gentleman from New York just talked about getting rid of the filibuster, packing the court. We know they want to pack the court because the chairman of this committee introduced a bill 14 months ago to pack the court. And the worst of it is, the worst of it is, this bill would not address the tragedies we have seen unfold around the country in the last couple weeks. Would not stop the terrible events that we saw. Wouldn't harden schools. In fact, the spokesperson for the president just said last week, hardening schools is not something President Biden wants to happen. Not something he believes in. I find that astonishing, but that's what she said. This bill would not stop the terrible events. It wouldn't harden schools, but it will sure take away the rights of the American people who follow the law. That's what this is all about. And it's such, it's just so wrong. But it is part of the pattern we have seen. And again, as Mr. Bishop pointed out a few minutes ago, this is the Judiciary Committee. You would think there would be the proper respect for the Constitution and for decisions reached by our circuit courts. Nope. Nope. We are so focused on taking away people's liberty. It's, it's frightening to me when you put it all in context and you think about what they what the Democrats are trying to do to First Amendment liberties now to Second Amendment liberties. This is what frightens the American people. And that's why we should vote this bill down. And we should come together as a bipartisan, bipartisan, in a bipartisan way to figure out what we can do to help make schools safe, make sure that people are properly trained there, make sure the facility is the way it needs to be. We're all for that. But we're not for taking away this. We're not for ending the, taking away Second Amendment liberties, not for ending the Second Amendment like they want to do. Mr. Chairman, I would yield to the gentleman.